This video is about how to caulk a perfect straight line around a bathtub. We just installed wall and floor tiles around this tub, so the next step is to caulk between the tile and tub. If you are re-caulking, of course, you would remove the old caulking and clean it real good. New caulking won't stick to old. So a clean and dry surface is very important either way. So let's start. I laid parallel strips of blue painter's tape about 3 8 inch apart to keep the bead straight, uniform and off surfaces where it shouldn't be, especially the dark grout in the tile. You must use silicone for this type of application. Regular caulk won't do. And I'm using a tube instead of a caulking gun and tube because I have it handy, but either one will do the job. These are simple to use for a small job like this. Just take the cap off, cut the tip just a little smaller than the cap you're filling, and you're ready to go. Point the nozzle hole towards the joint, and hold the tube from the surface on either side of the joint, and about 45 degrees out from it. Then apply a steady squeeze to the tube as you move it smoothly along the entire length of the seam. Keep the caulk moving at a steady speed, matched to the rate that the caulk is flowing out of the nozzle too fast and the bead will be too thin with bubbles or breaks in the seal. Too slow and you'll waste material and spend more time cleaning it up. But you will have some access anyway. As soon as the seams are filled, I dampen my index finger with clean water and press it into the joint. Smooth the caulk with your finger. Continue smoothing while the caulk is still wet. Keep some paper tiles handy to wipe off the excess from your finger. Pull it along the joint in one continuous motion to shape the fresh caulk into a concave bead. Notice I didn't finish applying the caulk on the outside bottom of the tub. I wanted to make sure the rest didn't start drying. That would make it hard to get it smooth. So you want to get it smooth as soon as possible. Don't hesitate to put a little pressure to ensure the caulk gets into the joint and behind the tile. Once you're done smoothing it, immediately remove the tape while the caulk is still wet. One strip at a time and pull away to the side away from the caulk. Take care not to let it touch any of the fresh caulk. If you wait until the caulk is dry, then it will come up as well. If needed, you can go back and smooth the bead again to eliminate the tiny ridges left from the tape. Now let the caulking dry for at least 24 hours before using the shower, so don't touch the caulking until then. And we have now completed our caulking project. I hope this video gives you an idea of what's involved doing a job like this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask on the comments and check the description for links of all the parts and tools we used. And you all have a great day.